Uh, have I done anything new? I'm no. Just waiting for Mesa. Playing Street Fighter Five and Monster Hunter. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I played more Monster Hunter. Um, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good game. I hear it's pretty good. A lot of, a lot, of, a lot of fun. I mean, like, I'm like upset because I can't play it, and I'm wait. Oh wait, no, I actually fucking bought it this last week, and I've been playing it like nonstop. Oh hell yeah. Um, I the full story is like I last literally literally last week after the podcast I was still trying to beat shit in uh, Final Fantasy X. Thank you, fucking Sylvia, for the help on that one chocobo thing. By the Hell way, Hell yeah. Um, chocobo I have since racing game sucks. <laughs> it's the worst thing ever, but it's it's not the worst thing ever by itself. Once you realize mm. what you have to do, like the whole purpose of it, it's like oh god, this is just the most tiresome bullshit. Um, but like I've gotten every weapon that I care about. I'm not getting Wakas because I'm not fucking playing Blitzball. Wakas is pretty bad. Like I don't I remember Riku's is bad too, right? Uh, it's not as bad. It's if you like Cactors and like, oh and yeah, think, if you think that. they're really cute, it's actually a really fun side quest. The only no. problem with it is that you have to walk back and forth to one point every single step of the way, God. so it's just artificial. Length. Yuna's is easy. They give you that one. Yeah, I mean, as long as you know like what to use, like as long as they know, okay, get Anima for like at least the last three. Okay, you're no. good. You win. Pretty easy. Anima is literally like God. Anima is what happens. When you realize, damn, we may we may have made this game just a little bit too hard in the end game. Here's a win button. <laughs> Look at that cat! Oh my god, such a cute cat. But no, um, I'm like right at the end of Final Fantasy X. I'm about to start the Attack on Sin, and then um, I'm not gonna go into full details here because it's it's kind of personal. But um, I was gonna end originally buy a copy physical from a friend that didn't work out. But instead, I was actually able to get a really good. I was I got a, I got my hands on a gift card. And I basically ended up paying like twenty five dollars and change for the digital deluxe version of Monster oh, Hunter. This I really liked World a lot. I'll still go back and play it at some point, probably. If my friend, my other friend Claudia, doesn't get a Monster Hunter Rise soon, but like, well, her and by her and my boyfriend because they live together. But um, this one like. I don't know how to describe it. I've seen people complain on online about that, like, you know, it, it feels weird. It, I don't like that it, it doesn't have as, it's not as story focused or like it's going back to, we're separating, like we're having a base baseline story and then here's offline, here's online. I kind of love uh, that about it. Absolutely. Mm. It's like, so good. Like I'm not, not that I don't, I don't, not that I don't dislike not having more of a story. I'm always a story oriented gamer. But, like, the way this works of just, like, okay, go fucking have fun. Find the thing you like doing and just do it. Here's single player. It's right here. Because with World, it was it got confusing to figure out, like, what is implied to be multiplayer? What is implied? Because everything was just kind of everything. There was no specific... As far as I remember, there wasn't any, like, these are single player missions, these are multiplayer missions. There was more, like, here's everything you can do. Maybe don't do these harder ones without a party, but you can kind of try it if you want. Here's like some easier ones. This one's literally like here's the multiplayer area. It's not that it's like super hard, but enemies take a lot more damage. It's just a <laughs> bigger process. So you want to go in there with a team and really figure shit out. You want to just knock the shit out of things and get your fuck fucking cool shiny armor and play dress up. Here's single player. Just play that for as long. As you can. And that's what I've been doing. Meow yeah, cat sighting. It's dope. It's really good. It's, it's really, it. really good. And it's on the Switch. Is Mo mm -hmm. Will Monster Hunter do anything to get new people into it? Because I tried Monster Hunter World and it just did not click with me whatsoever, like in the four hours I played. Does this do anything to change that? Mm. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um. At least for me personally, I think it does a really good job of... Uh, uh, of starting you slow mm -hmm. um, and ramping it up because 
I think one of the problems with Monster Hunter, especially when you play with friends, is that you play with somebody that you know, and they'll say, okay, let's do this quest, and then you start it, and you're like, why am I constantly taking damage? Oh, you didn't take a cool drink? Oh, yeah, it's yeah. in the chest. You should have taken a cool drink. Like, oh, you didn't get the glorp glorp <laughs> berries to make your glorp glorp juice? Wow, well, get yeah. fucked. <laughs> um, and I think the game does uh, a lot to avoid problems like that. Um, it's also just fun to ride your dog. Oh yeah, the fact that I don't have to stop to use my whetstone anymore is a mm. goddamn godsend. Absolutely. I like, just don't um, like how there's so many tutorials. Like, I can't walk five inches without the game being like, "Yeah, well, you know how to walk," yeah, and I'm like, "Yes." Yeah, but Sarah, okay, here's the problem with that. I mean, you're not wrong. It's just that, like, because again, I've only played World. From what I've been told before, World, this this is the best it's been as far as like actually getting people to learn how to play the game. Because one of the okay, I've heard you, Mesa Sylvia, correct me if I'm wrong, but one of the biggest hurdles for this game, like I guess what Jose was also getting at, was like it's just getting new players involved and like actually teaching them like how to play. A lot of it was seemed to just be like you just got to figure it out or you got to learn from other players or look it up. Mm. I actually prefer having at least things pop up. Like, I go to the supply box and it pops up like, hey, so these are your items that you really, you want to check this every time you start a quest because there'll be, like, health items and food items, but there'll also usually be, like, a quest-specific item that you do want to grab and have just in case and use. Um, and it'll also say, like, oh, hey, like, keep in mind if you access this quest in multiplayer, you're all accessing a pool. So don't be a greedy asshole and take, like, all the healing items. Take the four that are in a stack take the three that are in a stack um my only real like the only weird thing i find I, the only real complaint i have as far as like game itself is it feels weird that like i can go online but i can either i can't just make an invite a friends only room i have to either make a password room or an open room and that's it unless there's something i missed in which case i'm just a dumbass I feel like mm -hmm. even in games that don't necessarily make like crazy um, advances in innovation just because like that fan base already loves um, what what that series is fundamentally. I think mm -hmm. uh, quality of life changes like you mentioned with the dog and then with um, the whetstone. I feel like those actually go an incredibly long, t uh, long way, especially if you're dumping so many hours into it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like in world when I started playing world, Iceborne had already came out. So, like, I was already in it where they had the whole, like, okay, here's your fucking special weapons weapon right at the top that we want you to buy because it's the most powerful thing and it will just rocket you through the base game no matter what style you're on. Like, it is literally designed to be, and that, and it won't, like, it won't wear out. It, you won't have to sharpen it until you get to the end game, Iceborne, and then, you know, that's where the quote unquote real game starts for you at this point. The fact that, like, if you're not using something like that, at least at least two or three times a hunt you are gonna have to break that whetstone out not have to but like you're gonna want to because i i'm neurotic about it so i see it going to if i if i have a yellow orange red if i see it going to orange i use it if i'm close to orange i use it i sometimes forget when i'm on like other hunts and i'll be like oh i just hit red i should probably whetstone the next time Com co company that having to do that two or three or even four times in one hunt with like having to just stop and do it and then recollect yourself then go find the monster like it's just so much easier to be like okay on the way to where the as the monster is running away i can now do my whetstone and just like actually keep the pace up i don't it's not these giant roadblocks of stop start stop or, start stop start or even um i'm currently fighting the monster and don't have mm. the space or time to whetstone i'll ride my dog while doing it to avoid their attacks like exactly it's very it's very good also the fucking um what's it called the new the new thing uh the the bugs i, I always yeah. get the bugs the wire bugs yeah, they're yeah, awesome yeah, yeah, yeah. they're tight flies. my god like i unlocked switch attacks so like i have the one where if i if i hold the wire but wirefly button or bug button and i hit x i fucking rocket into the air with my switch axe and do like a giant like i basically do a fucking uh Oh god, what's the attack from Devil May Cry 5? Stinger. Whatever. No, no, not a stinger. I you go you go up into the air, I guess I don't remember, whatever. But you rocket up into the air and attack up and then like if you 
if you hit the attack button again, you shoot down and basically what is an air stinger like to the ground. The problem is it's not a straight down. It's like it's at a hard, like acute angle. So you most of the time I know you're what you're attack, I know what, what you're talking enemy. about. I just yeah. don't remember the name of it. <laughs> it's a very attractive angle, to be fair. It's really good. But yeah, you can like you can recover with the wire. You can jump up to it. things and find your way. It's Thank just... you, Mesa. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. I thought you were. I was like, what? Like it's a small size. Like what? What are you talking about? And I was like, oh no, more literal. Okay, literal yeah, is fine. Yeah. Acute angle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I don't remember the degrees. What do you want from? Me? I think. Um... I think that's probably going to go ahead and do it for this episode, though. Yeah. Um, I want to give a big shout out to everyone that's been on the show. So thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Mesa. Thank you, Blaine. And thank you, Sylvia, for coming on. Hell I appreciate yeah. it. Um, also, also, big shout out to everyone that came and hung out. Uh, thanks, everyone in chat. Um, big shout out to my patrons, Sly and Rama Nomad. Uh, thank you, Rama Nomad, especially for, these, for those uh, questions we did at the beginning. That was a fun time. Um, Hell yeah, I love questions. Does anyone want to go ahead and shout out their socials or anything they're doing? Or maybe even good. final word on a statement? Final word. Sorry. Final mm-hmm. statement on any topic. Uh, you uh, can follow me at Nexus Requiem on Twitter. Sometimes I say funny stuff. Sometimes I stream on Twitch and I'll tweet it in there. Uh, if you play on the Ultra server on the Primal Data Center Final Fantasy XIV, you can DM me if you want to join my free company. Uh, I'll get you in there. We like to have fun. We're very accepting of like new people and stuff. We like carrying people through old content and stuff like that. So if you're ever interested, let me know and I'll get you in there. Um, I'm I don't Ultros. know. You think? Oh, you yeah, are. Well, if you ever get back yeah. into the game, let me sure. know. I can get you in there, no problem. Thank let me you. think. Is anything else I want to plug? Um, I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. You can watch uh, the first episode of Common Rider Double for free on the Tokusatsu app. You should what? check it out. It's a pretty cool show. I think they have Ryuki on there too. That one's pretty good. Common Rider Double is the only one I've watched at any length. It's a I really good it. one. That one's good, and Kabuto's good too. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Stop um, scalping my Transformers. Yes, please stop <laughs> doing that. Scalpers go die. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not taking that back. Um, <laughs> you can follow me on Twitter. Morbid curiosity spelled weird. It's on the screen. You see it. Um, uh, I, I, I used to drop a lot of hot takes. Now I just try to say nuanced shit and like spread good word about shit that needs to be spread. Um, and talk about video games and other shit. It's it's a big mess of things. Um, fucking statements. You was you wanted like an ending a statement. Um, only if you statement. want. Stop coddling cis men, please. Exactly. Just mm-hmm. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of having to fucking see people be like, oh, but this guy didn't know, and this guy doesn't know. Blah, 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 blah. And half the time, it's a fucking forty-something-year-old man who should have known better ten years ago. This is not a specific like thing. I'm sub verbally subtweeting. This is literally just I'm tired of cis men existing and being idiots. Me too. I want them to not be Damn. idiots if they're going to continue to exist. No offense, Jose Damn. and Mesa. Damn, I am offended. Oh shit! I'm going. I'm gonna. Sit. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't cis, there's cis no more. There's no tr- more to this. Oh wait! I've come <laughs> to the end of this joke. It is over. Oh, I almost forgot. I can't wait for Deep Down to come out. <laughs> I forgot what deep down is. No, don't worry about it. It's not going to come uh, out. Cishets are truly the most oppressed class in all society, only next Absolutely. to gamers. Yeah. Mm. Those poor gamers. They're oppressed. Yeah. Bro, they're raising prices, bro. $70? Come on. Shit. That's a war okay. crime right there. See, okay. See, these canals are blocked just... up. I can't get my damn PS5. Okay, you're now you're baiting me with that seventy dollar comment. So, I actually do have to say about that, but I'm not going. Oh, of course. Oh, of course they could. Oh, you easily could have eaten that, but whatever. Yeah, it's Sarah, you want it's, to it's, get... it's, it's lost. Sarah, we will you be lost. Go. Sarah, nothing. I honestly, I don't have anything. I'm sorry. I'm tired. 
All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're all we're all we're all winding down. You can catch the uh, podcast here on Sundays at six thirty p.m. PST. Roughly, typically tend to go on at six forty-five as we're getting ready. Um, you can catch that on podcast services as well as on YouTube as full episodes and individually cut up segments. Um, I'm trying to stick to a stricter um, stream schedule for streaming games. Um, that is still subject to change on a weekly basis just because of the nature of my job. But um, I will I will post on both Twitch as well as on Twitter, and I'll have it as a pinned tweet, uh, what the exact schedule for that uh, upcoming week will be. Um, going to be playing Evil Within and then Demon Souls. So that's about Hell that yeah. for me, I guess. Dope. Hey, look at that game. It's pretty cool. Hell yeah. Ne- Nexus can come laugh at me at how bad mm-hmm. I am. Sure. If you're ever uh, streaming on like Wednesday or Thursday, I'll join. Sure. I like that game. A little bit. Sounds good. Yeah. Um, Don't forget to support your locals. Yep. <laughs> uh, with that, thanks everyone for hanging out, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Beep, 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 beep. <laughs>